Judging by the ocean views, you might think this 11-hectare property on the southern tip of Vancouver Island is an exclusive community in Victoria. And you'd be right in a sense. In fact, you might say that people are dying to get in. This is Ross Bay Cemetery, the oldest surviving formal garden in British Columbia. Opened in the 1870s, Ross Bay Cemetery is the final resting place for 27,000 souls, many of whom helped make our province what it is today. Here you'll find names to conjure with. Sir James Douglas, British Columbia's first governor, who brought British rule to a sleepy fur trading colony transformed overnight by a gold rush boom. Sir Matthew Bailey Begbie, BC's first Chief Justice, who dispensed traditional justice in many non-traditional frontier settings. And Emily Carr, born in Victoria the year BC joined Confederation, who became one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. Some people here made names for themselves in other parts of the province and later came to the capital. This is the grave of William Fernie, who founded the town of Fernie. A prospector and rancher, Fernie acquired a quarter million acres of coal-rich land in the Crow's Nest Pass area and persuaded the CPR to put a rail line through the mountains to serve it. William Fernie retired to Victoria, a wealthy man. Another fortune in mining was made by Colonel Eugene Topping, who founded the town of Trail. In 1895, the Colonel acquired the famous Leroy Gold Mine at nearby Rossland. The ore was smelted at Trail, the town prospered, and Topping was elected the first mayor. William Fernie and Eugene Topping joined many other BC pioneers in making the capital their final home. Their grave sites in this beautiful setting are permanent reminders of how the capital is connected in many ways to the development of British Columbia.